Hey, what's going on, guys? Today we are gonna be building something amazing from scratch. It's really amazing, guys. So today, in uh, if you remember in last uh, last video, I created an API by using Node.js, Express Server, Body Parsers, and Curves. So this is a video which is an extension of the free, my previous video. So in this video, we are gonna be building something like uh, using the power of view. So the front end JavaScript framework which I'll be using is view.js. So let's head to my project. So if I go to CD dev projects ls cd node api node.js api ls and if I start running a server on my site as a MongoDB, so remember Mongo. So connection is started on the board. So if I open this project in my VS Code, so for that, I'll be using, I'll be going here. This is my VS Code. And I'll take you to the walkthrough of the project. So I just made these things and I just wanted to start this thing. So for that, npm uh, node mon. And this will spin up the server on the local host port, which, which I created on the last in my last video. So the port was defined 5000. This is the port 5000. So if I go head over to my Google Chrome and I run this thing, localhost 5000. And if I run this thing, so currently it's not connected to internet, that's why because I use CDN, you know, CDN library. So for that, and if I run this thing now, so this is the UI which I'll be creating. So currently in this section, we have no host. So if I write this something, host one, this is the body, just one and author name is Mandy Mandy and if I add this post the post added to the database and this is a dynamic content and if I want to update this post I can directly click on update and see this this change to the update post and date it so you can directly you can see this thing here this thing is currently statically bind to this thing if I add this thing this post one is updated so if I want to delete this post, let's add one more post post to Post to author name is Tanya Moria. If I add this thing now, we have two posts here. So if I want to delete one, we can directly click on delete this article and this will give a little alert on the UI. So and this application is built on the U view.js. So this is the view extension which I installed. So this is the walkthrough of the project. This is what we are going to be building in this. And if I want to delete this post, we can directly see the post deleted successfully. These are the messages which are coming from the backend. 